welcome back to the videos on thermodynamics in this lecture we would be discussing a very interesting cycle uh, a thermodynamic cycle for power plants and that thermodynamic cycle is known as the Rankine cycle so what you see on the screen is the Rankine cycle which I would be constructing step by step by considering the processes which happen in the power plant. So the Rankine cycle, uh, let me go to the next slide. As I said, it's a thermodynamic cycle, which is an ideal cycle for thermal power plants. So in your earlier courses, you have studied about a thermal power plant and you know the major components of this. So if you go, what is our practice cycle is, if you go on idealizing whatever is happening in the thermal power plant, or if you try to reduce the actual processes which are happening in thermal power plant to the idealized processes, then the set of processes whatever you will get that would constitute a thermodynamic cycle and that thermodynamic cycle is known as a Rankine cycle. So let me explain you this further so that you understand it better. Uh, you know that a thermal power plant, when you are talking about a thermal power plant, uh, we generally have a steam generation in the steam generator or a boiler, it is popularly known as boiler. So steam generator you have the water which is entering and steam which is coming out. Okay. So we have studied that whenever there is a mass transfer, uh, it is an open system. Open system, right? And because the water is getting converted to steam, this cannot happen without the supply of energy. And in the steam generator, we supply this energy in the form of heat. So there is a heat transfer Q, let us say, right? So when you are supplying this heat energy uh, to this working fluid, which is water, right? You know that the water gets converted to steam, but how do you express this in terms of energy? So if I write an energy balance for this, energy balance for this, okay? By approximating this system as a steady flow system, we had explained in detail, what is the steady flow energy equation? So if you write an energy balance for this uh, steam generator, what you would get is that because of the heat supplied, there is an increase in the enthalpy from initial point, let us say one, to a higher enthalpy, H2. Let us say that the mass flow rate of the water is M dot. Okay, so look at this. What we are doing is that we are applying the energy balance for this. And we are talking about a process which is happening. So when you are talking about the Rankine cycle, uh, the process which is happening of heat addition is idealized as, is an idealized as a constant pressure, constant pressure heat addition, constant. How is the heat addition? There is a constant pressure heat transfer. Okay, constant pressure heat transfer. So, this process of a constant pressure heat transfer uh, would give you an energy balance like this. Q is equal to M dot into H2 minus H1. So what it means is, it means that whatever heat is being supplied, there is heat transfer in the boiler, that goes in increasing the enthalpy of the feed water from H1 to the enthalpy of steam, which is H2. So that is a simple meaning of this. Right, and the process we talked about is a constant pressure heat addition. So, if I want to represent this process, okay, on a temperature entropy diagram, so it becomes like this. Uh, let us say this is uh, temperature. And this is let us say the vapor dome. This is vapor dome. So, the constant pressure process. Okay, if I put it in enthalpy, let us say. Okay. So, what happens is because you are adding the heat at a constant pressure. So you need to figure out how, how are the constant pressure lines on the constant pressure line P is equal to C lines on the 
temperature enthalpy diagram. So if you look at the constant pressure lines, you will find that in the within the vapor dome, the constant pressure lines are horizontal. Okay, and beyond that, beyond that, you would have this kind of profile. So this profile, this is a profile of a constant pressure uh, heat addition lines. Okay, constant pressure heat addition lines. So this is constant pressure lines P is equal to C. Uh, let us, uh, this is actually connected. So let me draw this like this. We connect it properly. Okay. So let us say this line. Okay. So this line is a constant pressure line. So if the entry point is one, okay, the entry point is one. Entry point is one. Okay. So what happens is the initially the enthalpy was H1, H1, and now because of the heat addition, the enthalpy becomes H2. So this one to two, one to two, okay, one to two. This process, this process is the constant pressure, constant pressure, heat transfer process, heat addition process in the in the Rankine cycle. Okay, so one process in the Rankine cycle is the constant pressure heat addition, constant pressure heat addition. The next process, okay, if the thermodynamic cycle is considered, the next process has to be an ideal. Now, this one to two process is an ideal cycle which is representing the steam generator. Uh, as we have seen, as we have seen that the steam power plant, okay, steam power plant has a boiler, as I said, where the steam is generated. Uh, the steam goes to the steam turbine. Let us say this is your steam turbine. Then it is condensed. The steam is condensed in a heat exchanger called as condenser. And this condensate or water, if you like it, uh, it is pumped back. Let us say this is pumped back to the boiler. Okay, pumped back to the boiler. So if you look at this, the Rankine cycle is what? Rankine cycle is now, as, as I had explained you for the case of boiler, what I had done is that I had considered an actual boiler and idealized process in that boiler I had uh, stated. So the idealized process, as I said, for the boiler is the constant pressure, constant pressure heat addition, heat addition, okay. The constant pressure heat addition happens in the steam generator, okay. So this steam now goes to the steam turbine. So you know that the steam is expanded, okay. The steam is expanded, right. But ideally, what are you expecting? How the steam should be expanded? So ideally, we are expecting that the steam should be expanded without the heat loss. So there should be no heat loss, okay. And there should be no friction. Friction should be zero, okay. So this turbine we would idealize is to be a frictionless steam turbine. And the turbine we would idealize it to be an insulated, completely insulated steam, uh, steam turbine. So because it is frictionless and because the heat transfer is zero, you know that this process is an adiabatic process. There is no heat transfer and it is a reversible process because there is no friction. And uh, because it is adiabatic and reversible, one property which we had discussed earlier remains constant. That is the entropy remains constant. So it is a constant entropy or a isentropic process. Isentropic process. Okay. So what you see is that what you see is that the next process in the Rankine cycle. So one one process in the Rankine cycle would be the ideal process in the steam generator or boiler, which is a constant pressure heat addition. Followed by that, the next process would be an isentropic process of expansion isentropic process of expansion, which is again an idealized process. The next process which you see here uh, would correspond to the heat exchanger, namely the condenser. And we have studied that condenser is placed, just as you know that in the boiler, the heat is being transferred from the surrounding to the system. Similarly, in the condenser, the heat is being transferred from the system to the surrounding, system to the surrounding. So let us say QR is the heat rejected and QS, the, QS is the heat supplied. So you see that in the condenser, the heat is being rejected to the ambient to the surroundings. And as a result of this, as a result of this, what happens is the enthalpy of the steam, 
okay, gets released from H3 to H4. And when this enthalpy of the steam is being rejected from H3 to H4, this steam also gets converted to a condenser that is liquid, that is water. Okay, condenser is nothing but water. Okay, so the next process, the ideal process of the Rankine cycle, next process is is a heat rejection process and how is that heat rejection happening so idealized it we we'll say that there is no pressure drop there is a pressure drop is constant uh, there is no pressure drop so it's a constant pressure process of heat rejection to the surroundings heat rejection to the surroundings so uh, 1 to 2 is what 1 to 2 is constant pressure heat addition 2 to 3 is constant uh, isentropic expansion 3 to 4 is constant pressure heat rejection if you come back again to the schematic of the power plant, you'll find that this condenser is pumped back to the boiler. And when you are having a condenser which is pumping the water into the boiler, you need to supply certain work. Okay, and uh, we have not discussed this, but if you are talking about an expansion in the steam turbine, there has to be some positive work, turbine work which is produced. Okay, so for pumping this water, or increasing its pressure from the condenser pressure to the boiler pressure uh, there has to be electricity supplied which we call it as pump work right and when you are supplying this pump work what happens is this water would be compressed to h1 that is there would be and its enthalpy would increase from h4 to h1 h4 to h1 so this again this again if you want to idealize it so we would expect that this pump is frictionless ideal pump is frictionless pump and would expect that there is no, no heat loss from the pump that is it is an adiabatic pump so uh, interestingly now uh, your process becomes like this that 4 to 1 if we call it as 4 to 1 that is a constant constant entropy why it is constant entropy again i will explain that is also called as isentropic isentropic okay isentropic uh, pumping okay pumping means you are increasing the pressure from uh, the lowest pressure which is the condenser pressure to the highest pressure which is the boiler pressure now why it is constant entropy this is because your pump we are assuming it to be an adiabatic there is no heat loss and we are assuming the pump to be frictionless okay so all this all this makes it a reversible adiabatic and we have studied in thermodynamics that if the process is reversible and if it is adiabatic, it is a constant entropy or isentropic process. So this four processes, let me write down again all these four processes. So we talked about process one to two as a constant pressure, constant pressure, heat addition, okay, which is an ideal process which we can assume to happen in the steam generator or boiler. Uh, the next process is the isentropic expansion where you are producing where there's a work transfer of expansion and it it corresponds to an idealized expansion process in the steam turbine and a three to four process is a constant pressure constant pressure uh, heat rejection which happens which can be assumed to be an idealized process in the condenser and four to one is an isentropic compression which can we can call it uh, in the ideal process in the pump okay so it's nothing but pumping actually so we are using the term compression what we mean is it is a pumping process we are pumping the fluid that is water from a lowest pressure that is a condenser pressure to the highest pressure that is the boiler pressure so this four processes in this order this order is also very important this four processes in this order they constitute a vapor power cycle which is known as a Rankine cycle so this we can call it as the Rankine cycle so if you are asked what is a Rankine cycle uh, obviously a Rankine cycle is a thermodynamic cycle which is an ideal cycle comprising of the four processes in this order which order constant pressure heat addition isentropic expansion followed by constant pressure heat rejection and an isentropic compression so all this all these four processes together would constitute what is known as a Rankine cycle and this becomes Rankine cycle look at this one to two is a constant pressure heat addition two to three is a 
isentropic expansion. 3 to 4 is a constant pressure heat rejection and 4 to 1 is a isentropic compression. Again, what would 1 to 2 represent? It would represent the ideal process in the steam generator. 2 to 3 would represent the ideal process in the steam turbine. 3 to 4 would represent the ideal process in the condenser and 4 to 1 would represent the ideal process in the pump. So it means that the Rankine cycle is a mathematical model. It is a thermodynamic model which would describe okay, the power plant. So this together, this cycle, what it would do is that it would convert the heat to work. Okay, And we can use this cycle. The objective of studying this cycle is by studying the cycle and by learning the analysis how to analyze the cycle we can do a modeling of the thermal power plant okay we can actually analyze the thermal power plant uh, having a steam generator having a boiler uh, having a steam turbine having a condenser and a pump so if you go and visit a power plant and if you get to know what is the boiler pressure what is the condenser pressure okay what are the temperatures for example at one to two three four like this then you can estimate the performance of the power plant so this is the advantage of using the or studying the Rankine cycle so why should we study the Rankine cycle because it gives you a powerful thermodynamic tool to estimate the performance of the actual power plant so the theory theory of the Rankine cycle can be applied for analyzing the actual power plants okay so that is the significance of this in the next class we would study how how to analyze the Rankine cycle? So the, what is an interesting concept called as mean temperature of heat addition and some numericals based on that. Thank you. See you.